Several years ago I read my first non-binary character in Sarah Gailey's River of Teeth. Gailey wrote them masterfully, just like every other character, because there shouldn't be major differences and hurdles to more inclusive entertainment. Hollywood is catching up slowly but surely, and HBO Max is sort of is a major step forward in gender-fluid visibility. Created by Bilal Beg and Fab Filippo, sort of follows Sabi Beg, who navigates work, family, and relationships as only a lost millennial can. Despite being the rare, if not unheard of series with a gender-fluid lead, sort of doesn't fixate on its protagonist's gender and sexuality thanks to informed and empathetic writing from Beg, Filippo, Jen Engels, Nelu Handa, and Ian Iqbal Rashid. It is the kind of representation everyone deserves and sort of makes it look easy. Episode 1 catches Sabi in a perfect storm of inciting incidents, their partner Gregory Ambrose Calderoni doesn't feel seen, their employers want to fire them from nannying, and just when things seem they couldn't get worse, they run into their mother, Elora Patnike, on the street. The supporting cast fills out Sabi's world nicely, especially an effervescent Amanda Cordner as Bestie 7 Ben and Elora Patnike as Sabi's earnest mother. Raffo, in episode 2, Bessie, Grace Lin Kung, whose kids Sabi watches falls into a coma, adding an urgent undercurrent to the rest of the season. No one in Sabi's world can escape the truth that life is fleeting and precious. So, maybe fixating on labels and baggage isn't the best use of our limited time here? The disparate threads of Bessie's condition and Sabi's relationship with her mother intertwine poignantly in later episodes, eliciting some of the show's strongest emotional beats. The sort of is fairly insular, most scenes take place inside someone's home, the hospital, or the queer bar, bookshop where Sabi works, it crafts a distinct visual landscape. Filippo and Renuka J. Apollon direct the eight 20-minute episodes with palpable self-assurance, highlighting Chris Crane's production design and a skillful camera crew. A magnetic soundtrack comes from Five Point Diamonds, it's also known as Gay Hollywood, Have I a Mighty, The Count, Say Sky, and Trust. Despite those impressive elements, sort of I sent a primarily production-driven or narrative-driven show. It's all about character and about that oldest form of resistance, the one that still incites rage, the mere act of marginalized people existing and daring to share their authentic selves. Sabi is figuring out who they are and what they want, just like literally all of us. The show casts an embarrassing light on the absurdity of gender panic in Hollywood's insistence. That representation is so challenging. Everyone does whatever they want, Sabus' mother says in episode 7. It's a thought first voiced by their uncle, who dismisses Sabus' gender. But here, ITS repeated with disbelief bordering on awe. We can do whatever we want, be whoever we want, and why shouldn't we? Television has the power to reflect that more and more. Sort of is now streaming on HBO Max.